She's known as a hotel heiress, a reality TV star, but state lawmakers also note Paris Hilton is a survivor. They say she's a survivor of what's known as the troubled teen industry. She had a busy day at the state capitol, starting the day at a news conference on that proposal, SB 1043. This bill would require residential teen therapeutic centers to be transparent about their use of seclusion rooms and restraint techniques, as well as data on child deaths and injuries while they're in these facilities. These facilities often temporarily house foster teens and others who have already been through some sort of trauma or abuse. Within the last five years, Hilton has opened up publicly about her experience experience when she was younger as a resident of one of these facilities in Utah. She says these facilities thrive in secrecy. It's a nightmare that no child should ever have to endure. In troubled teen industry facilities in California, Utah and Montana, I was subjected to abuse disguised as therapy, isolated from the outside world and denied even the most basic rights. I lived in constant fear, not knowing what would happen to me next. From that news conference, she was then honored on the floor of the state Senate for her advocacy of this measure. After that, she testified on the first hearing for the bill in a Senate committee. As Hilton made her way through the building today, there was no registered opposition against this measure. It still has several steps before it can become state law. Reporting at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. Governor Newsom's administration, which would be in charge of making that data public, has not commented on this measure.